Welcome to the BCIT Passive House video series. I'm Joe Galouche of Daikun Contracting Limited, and I'll be your host as we walk you through the design and construction of a certified passive home right here on this site in beautiful West Vancouver, BC. But before we do that, we need to ask ourselves a couple key questions. What is a passive house, and why is passive house important? Does your house have a heater in the basement or maybe a fireplace? Probably also a central air conditioner or maybe a window unit. Did you ever wonder if it was necessary? In 1991, a physicist in Austria, Dr. Feist, built the first passive house. Here's what he did. 1. Proper insulation. It's just like wearing the right winter jacket, it also doesn't need a heater. 2. No air leakages. There should be no holes, small or large, to let hot air out of the house. 3. No thermal bridges. A thermal bridge is like a road for heating energy in which warmth can travel right through your walls. As a matter of fact, most of our houses have thermal highways in our walls where heat can easily travel to the outside. Plus, the house needs proper windows most of the time with triple pane glass. It needs to be oriented properly so the sun can heat it in the winter and shade is provided in the summer. And it uses an HRV, a device that provides the inside with fresh air without letting the heat out. Add all these things up and it turns out your house doesn't need a heater or air conditioner. So where does the heat come from? A passive house needs 90% less energy and that can easily be supplied by your body heat, the sun, your appliances, light bulbs and even your TV. This saves you a lot of money on your heating bill and helps preserve the environment. Why build towards the passive house standard or maybe an equivalent to passive house? Um, I think it's uh, because it's simple and it works. From a business point of view, it makes sense. And from an ownership point of view, um, the numbers are there. It, you know, we have lots of data showing that it works. It works in the short term, but it also works in the long term. It's zero maintenance. I think simple is beautiful and numbers are proving that it works. The province, the government of British Columbia, is working towards a unified uh, building code on the energy side. We have to get to a near uh, zero emission or a near zero energy building by 2032. Passive house could be one of the different ways that would get you to the highest level, which is step five. My name is Bettina Balken. Um, I'm an architect. I've worked with uh, Battersby Howard for more than 12 years and um, I'm originally from Germany. I went to school in Darmstadt and uh, I'm interested in passive house and also kind of grew up with it. What was great about the BCIT performance lab and the trades course that, that we did with, with the contractor was that to sort of, you know, see some of the passive house principles like hands-on and not just um, theoretical sort of design, designer oriented course and the most fun part was to build it too um, and sort of handle the materials, the different membranes that are available. If you install the window and you see how hard it is sort of to get what you asked for it, it, it brings you a bit more down to earth and, uh, and also have a different point of view and respect for the people putting it together and that you know it's one thing for us to draw something and another thing for someone else to, to put it together. Why are trades so important? Uh, because they are going to be the superheroes in the next generation of buildings. They are the ones who can make it happen, make it work. So again it's a pretty simple um, design from a science point of view, but it's one thing to have those details on the drawing, it's completely something else to build it and, and make it happen. So in short, my role at BCIT is to help industry keep up with the changes to the building code in our province, specifically the energy step code, by developing new traditional and non-traditional um, educational programs. Now it's time to start building. 